Hey, happy midweek. It is Wednesday, and you have joined me yet again for another edition of 5 Minutes with Phil. Coming to you right now from my office that is, I'm just now noticing, very dimly lit. But, hey, we're here together. So thanks for joining me here today. Uh, this week, we have been taking a look at just two verses from the end of really the whole book of 1 Corinthians. And specifically in chapter 16, Paul is kind of firing away a bunch of commands and instructions in closing uh, that he wants to leave with this entire church. And uh, we, we've looked at these two verses, and we've already unpacked a couple of those instructions. We're going to unpack another one here today. So just again, as a refresher, take a look at the screen. Here's the verse. And I want you to see what I've underlined for us again today. You ready? It says, be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. That's what we're going to look at today. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. Be courageous. That's, that's Paul's command to this entire church. Now, why in the world would he say that? Well, let's consider, first of all, that, that it was not easy to be a Christian uh, at that time, as Paul's writing this letter to this church. Not at all. Uh, you, you had a number of uh, points of opposition and persecution that would come against you for accepting Jesus Christ as Savior uh, in, in the Jewish world as the Messiah. And so you would get pushed back from the government. You would get pushed back from religious leaders. Uh, it, it, would, it would really be difficult for somebody to live this stuff out. And Paul is telling this entire church, look, you got to live this stuff out with courage. you got to be strong, like we talked about yesterday, we we got to be strong, and we have to be courageous, brave in our faith. Now, let me be straight with you. Your, um, your faith, your walk with God is going to be challenged at times. And it doesn't take too long to realize that. One only needs to read social media. One only needs to check out uh, the, <laughs> the news. Just turn on any actually any source of media whatsoever, and, and you will see that really much of this world is very anti-Jesus and anti-Christian. And to, to live this out and to walk this out on a daily basis, not just on Sunday, okay? Not just church attendance, but living this out at work, living this out in your neighborhood, living this out at home for some of us, living this out on the school campus, whether that be in college or even lower than that, or, or, or the grades that are lower than that, whatever the case might be, it takes some bravery, it takes some courage for the people of God to live this thing out because it will be challenged. Now, here in the United States, sometimes we don't get this, but I want you to think of what some other uh, Christians are facing on a regular basis when, when you hear a command like this. I mean, there are people that have been displaced from their homes just because they are Christians. They've, they've had to flee not only their home, but their entire country. That's happening right now in the 21st century. There are people that have been killed because they have a faith in Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, church, and I'm telling you, friend, it's important for us to walk this thing out with courage because if we're timid, and I'm not saying you need to be boisterous, but when, when the persecution comes, you got to be brave in spite of it. You got to be brave. You got to be courageous. And that's what Paul is telling the church many centuries ago. And I think that that's what God has to say to the church now. We need brothers and sisters in Christ. We need Jesus followers who are brave about this stuff, that even in the face of challenge, 
we will still walk this out and live this stuff out. And that's my challenge to you. Be courageous. Okay? That's all I got for you. I hope you have a great Wednesday. God bless you. We'll talk to you again later. Bye-bye.